Infomar is Ireland's national marine mapping programme. It's the follow-on project to the Irish National Seabed Survey, which mapped the deeper waters off the country's coast. It's a joint venture between the Geological Survey of Ireland, which is Ireland's national earth science agency, and the Marine Institute. Over the span of the entire project, we hope to map the entire coast of Ireland. The project is funded to run for a 20-year period, it began in 2006, and is scheduled to run until 2026. The first phase, which was committed to mapping 26 priority bays and three priority marine areas, has actually been completed and was finished in 2015. Phase two is beginning in 2016 and will run for 10 years, and that will cover the areas that were not mapped in phase one. These are the more remote areas of coastline in between the bays that were covered in the first phase. The second phase will be particularly interesting and challenging because now we'll have to cover the areas that were left behind. And these can vary from remote stretches of coastline to mapping around the many interesting islands that are located around the Irish coast. The mapping work itself is multifaceted. While our main aim is to measure the water depths, and this is referred to as collecting bathymetric data, we also do geophysical work and sampling work. The project is a combination of mapping the bathymetry of Irish waters, which essentially is the water depths, but also the geophysics of the seabed. We work anywhere all the way around the coast from Malinhead right around to Carlingford, occasionally even on cross-border projects where we liaise with organisations similar to ourselves based in the north of Ireland and in the UK. Every survey begins with an initial team meeting where all aspects of the potential survey location are discussed, whether it's a special area of conservation, needs special licensing, what wind directions and weather patterns it's exposed to, what areas will be safe to map in based on the knowledge we have from the existing charts, and what safe harbours the vessels can stay in during the night. After this, teams are then sent out to the area to set up our onshore infrastructure, which takes the form of GPS control stations that improve the navigation of the vessels, and tide gauges, which are set up on pier walls. These collect important ancillary data to the seabed survey itself, which is necessary for the creation of an accurate map. Following these stages of the process, the research vessels themselves must be mobilised. This takes place at the outset of the survey season, where all equipment is installed on the vessels and calibrated and quality controlled before usage. The vessels are then transited to the survey area, which could be anywhere on the Irish coast. Once the vessels are on site, they're set up and calibrated, the infrastructure has been set up on shore, the survey can begin. And this can take any amount of time depending on the size of the area. On average, most Inframar surveys have taken three to four weeks. While carrying out the survey, great care has to be taken in data management. The data has to be backed up very carefully. It's processed to a certain extent on site to remove any errors in the data and to make sure that quality is good and that accurate data has been collected. And then at the end of the survey, all of the data must be backed up onto hard drives and shipped back to the office. 
The processing step in this process is a labour-intensive but vital one. During this stage, skilled operators of processing software, such as Caris, closely examine the data for errors and spikes that do not relate to real features. They go through the data with a fine tooth comb, looking for deviations from current charts, for any hazards that may need to be sent to the United Kingdom Hydrographic Office as a particularly urgent notification and they prepare the data for final delivery to the next stage. For each day of survey activity, there can sometimes even be five to 10 days of processing activity. Depending on the complexity of the seabed, the nature of the water column on which the vessel was traveling, and any other factors that may affect data quality on the day. This is a long and labor intensive process, but is vital in carrying out corrections to the data cleaning out any errors or spikes that may not relate to actual seabed features, and analyzing the data and assessing it for the next step. This next step is the creation of products that are made freely available to the public and uploaded onto the internet. <laughs> 